Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. My name is Emma for those of you that don't know me and this is my little corner of YouTube where I like to throw clothes on my size 16 body and prance around the bedroom for you all a little bit. Um, if you have never seen any of my videos before then the majority of the clothes that I buy are from charity shops or are thrifted and I just enjoy styling them up with different things and seeing how they look and hopefully giving you some inspiration as well. Um, thank you so much for all the love on my last video. You were all really, really kind. I was very apprehensive about putting it out there because I'd not been on YouTube for so long, but I needn't have doubted you all <laughs> because it was actually one of my most watched videos. So thank you so much to everybody who watched that um, and all my new subscribers, welcome. So today I thought I would try and do something a little bit different. I'm still going to do the whole size 16 trial thing, but I was thinking of maybe just kind of getting straight in there with the try on rather than talking you through everything that I've bought and rambling on for 25 minutes I thought I would very quickly show you what I'm going to be trying on and what I want to do is just go through some kind of autumn outfit so what I thought I would do is just literally show you some of the purchases that I bought over the last few weeks some of the things that I've got that are actually old that I'm just going to be trying on with them um, and just to style up a few autumn outfits. Now, it isn't, I don't want to do full on going out out outfits because, <laughs> well, let's face it, none of us are going anywhere. My daughter is currently homeschooling at the minute because her class have gone into isolation because a child has tested positive last weekend. So we're currently back on the, the homeschooling train which is, I mean, it's okay, but it's not ideal. And so, and we live in the northwest of England and we are constantly being threatened with another lockdown. We are in, we are surrounded by areas that are currently in lockdown. Merseyside are in a bit of a mini lockdown. Holton are in a mini lockdown, Warrington. So we, and we are kind of bang in the middle of all of those places. So as yet, we're not in a lockdown. <laughs> But I think there's going to be changes again next week and, you know, who knows if we'll be able to go out and have a drink with a friend. We just don't know. So, the outfits that I'm going to try on for you today are not going to be, like, glitz and glamour and going out out outfits. They're going to be more going to the supermarket, going to pick the kids up from school, going to meet a friend for coffee. Maybe after drink, after drink, after work drinks, if they're still a thing, who knows. So, and I've got a coat that loads of you saw on Instagram yesterday and absolutely loved. So that's my bargain coat from the supermarket, which I'll show you in a minute. And yeah, just to go through a few little things with you. So, the first thing that I want to show you, and this is, I'm so, so, so overwhelmed by this, is these were on my Instagram stories yesterday. Bend down, any of you who, oh my God, they're so heavy. Any of you who know this brand, Fairfax and Favour, will know that a blue box delivery is fantastic. <laughs> I never in my wildest dreams would ever have A, been able to afford these, B, been able to justify paying the price for these, and I don't need a C because A and B are so great. So, <laughs> but during lockdown, at the height of the coronavirus crisis, um, Fairfax and Favour did competitions every week where they gave away five pairs of boots of your choice. And all you had to do was to basically write something on Facebook as to the reason why you thought somebody deserved them. And then they chose five winners every week. I think it was kind of throughout I think if I'm right, it was throughout June. Um, and they chose five winners every week and then basically let you choose a pair of boots. And my husband told me about it because I'm not on Facebook. And he said, um, I'll do it, so I'll write something. So he did. And then the following week, um, we got a little notification to say that I'd won. And I think it's one of those things that you just don't believe when it happens because I thought there's bound to be a con, it's got to be a con. There's no way they're going to just let me order any pair of boots that I want. So initially I ordered something called a Regina. If you know Fairfax and Favour, you'll know these boots. 
I ordered something called the Regina. Now, I am a size 16 and I am blessed with a rather chunky old calf. <laughs> and I think I ordered, they do two fits. They do a regular fit and they do a sporting fit. And the sporting fit is for people like me. And I got the Reginas and I, I'm sure I got them. I'm sure I got them in a sporting fit, but I can't be 100% sure. I can't, anyway, regardless to say, or needless to say, they had to go back and I was devoured because they were the boots that I really wanted and they were a suede knee high boot. So I spoke to the people at Fairfax and basically said that the sporting fit hadn't fit me and what was I gonna do because they're all knee high boots and if the sporting fit didn't fit me then what, what am I gonna do? And the very nice lady at Fairfax and Favour directed me to these boots and basically said that they are much wider and they come up wider, so they would probably be okay. This is me not rambling on at the beginning of a video, by the way. So, and they all come, they come in their individual <laughs> dust bags. I mean, it's just so posh, it's not true. So I ended up having the, um, going for the Explorer boots, which are these which are waterproof. So they are the boots. So they've got a really chunky sole and that is very, that is kind of their trademark um, rosette thing above there. And then they all have tassels and these are interchangeable. And with these boots, they actually sent me um, these, which are the limited edition COVID-19 support the NHS tassels. So, and I've actually yet to put these on. Um, and they are them. So you take that one off and you put that one on. I might do that actually. They are pretty funky. Um, and they've all got sort of the Fairfax and Favour label go. Now, like I say, these have been gifted to me. And they are, without doubt, <laughs> the most perfect boot I've ever touched. <laughs> they are ridiculously expensive. Oh, there's my thing. But, I suppose, oh, you get what you pay for. And it's taken me from June to October to break the buggers in. <laughs> and I have literally... I was, they're quite narrow on the foot and it's only been over the last couple of weeks I've been able to wear them and my toes don't get pins and needles in them and go numb. <laughs> so anyway, the long and short of it is that these are my gorgeous Fairfax and Favour boots which were very, very kindly gifted to me and very, very much appreciated. And these boots, I think they retail at over £400, which... As somebody who buys all her clothes from charity shops, to own something like this is kind of beyond my wildest dreams. And like I say, it's not that I would never be able to afford them, although, you know, they are a lot of money. It is almost a mortgage payment. Um, it's, would I have been able to justify them, justify that much money on something like this? So, but thank you so much, Fairfax and Favourite, for those, because they are amazing. So, they are kind of going to be the staple in what I'm wearing. The other staple, and now this is literally the supply to the ridiculous. Let me take these off. Ow. Is these. <laughs> Which are white patent, no name trainers with the most chunky laces. And they were five pound. <laughs> in a chasser and I don't own a pair of white trainers I don't own anything completely plain I've got converse but they're very very flat I wanted something a little bit chunkier I have got my eyes on a pair of trainers like this that are sort of around the 70 80 pound mark and I didn't think there was any point going straight in with something like that until I'd actually proved to myself that I would wear them these were these were brand new these were pearly white when I bought them but I think I have proved to myself that I will wear these and I've worn them ever such a lot and they kind of, I've worn them, I dress them up and I dress, I, I, I think a pair of white trainers kind of dresses down an outfit 
and stops it being so dressy. And if you've ever seen anything that Trini Woodall does, she's the queen of the white trainer. Um, and she's kind of what's given me the inspiration to, to go for it and buy a pair. And now I've got them and I put them on with things and I can see what the attraction is. They're, it's probably something I'll do um, more of. So, um, <clears throat> what I'll do is, I'm just gonna quickly, quickly, quickly show you. Um, I've got a pair of navy leggings. These are very, very basic navy leggings. So these are the kind of things that I'm gonna be whacking on today and just showing you. So very basic navy leggings. They're originally, they are from Cuba. I actually paid, I think they were in the half price sale. So I paid about nine pounds for them, something like that. I've got them in the summer. I'm gonna be um, showing you my Bowden trousers, which you've seen in videos before. Um, these are a little bit snug now. Um, <laughs> they're a cropped um, trouser. I had them from a charity shop probably four years ago. Um, and I've got a few tops. Oh, and a handbag. I have this top, which is originally from Next. It has, um, it's a size 14. And it was two pound. I mean, you just can't leave things there for that. And it's this kind of grey, purple, and black leopard print, which is really, really, really nice. I have also picked up this dress, which is originally from Warehouse, which is kind of a little fit and flare with a zip down the front. And this is a size 14. It's very, very difficult at the moment because you can't try stuff on. And this week I've taken two dresses back to charity shops. One was £8 and one was £7, I think. Had they been £2 and £3, I probably wouldn't have bothered to take them back. But I just couldn't justify that much money on something I'm never going to wear. They were, but neither of them fit me very well. One of them I really didn't like the colour of against my skin when I actually got it home. So, um, but I'm finding because I'm not trying stuff on, I'm probably making a few more mistakes than I would normally. So I am constantly, <laughs> it's me again, back again to bring something back. So um, yeah, so I bought, I took a gamble with this and the reason I took a gamble was because it was a pound. But not only that, everything was buy one, get one free. So I also got this for the bargain price of, this was crossed through a pound, and these were from Age UK. So I paid 50 pence each for both of these. So this is like a greeny coloured silk, and my warehouse dress. Don't know where this is from originally because it's got no labels, all the labels have been cut out, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say New Look or Dorothy Perkins, because I think that's what the label looks like. So that's that. And then, you all know how much I love a Jules um, jaunty harbour stripe. This is my harbour dress, which I picked up in a charity shop. I kid you not, I picked it up on the 10th of August. Just after we got back off our holidays. It's a size 14. It's got the little jewels bunny down there. I actually paid 10 99 for this, which I know is a lot of money. But in the actual jewels itself, it would probably be £40-ish. So it's very short, but I have found a way of wearing it that means I don't show my arse and I don't look like mutton. And <laughs> then I also picked up this, which is a little jacket, but it's got little short sleeves and it's just a little edge to edge jacket. It was £3.99 in a size large and it's Papaya Weekend, which I think is Matalan if I'm not mistaken. But it feels really nice quality and it's got kind of a little black stitching in it. So I've got an idea for that with my little black trousers. I picked up um, a pair of shoes in like a mushroomy grey. I love that heel. That's so me because I don't do a stiletto. I can't walk in them. These have never been worn. They have still got the price on the bottom. £22.99 from New Look. A pound. <laughs> I mean, it looks like they've got an £11 sign in there. So it looks like they've been £11 in the, in the sale in New Look. 
someone's bought them and not really like them but they're a wide fit as well which sits me down to the ground because I have got quite, quite a wide foot I'm not selling myself very well am I because I'm saying I've got a wide foot and chunky calves <laughs> I'm not abnormal from the knee down but yeah I just thought that they were absolutely fantastic and who doesn't love a nude heel so that was that and then do you remember the other week when I had my Sue bag, which was my pink Kath Kitston bag? Well, at the same time, my face mask. <laughs> at the same time, she sent this for my daughter, which is a Radley. I mean, God love her. Um, a Radley in absolutely beautiful condition. But um, I sort of half inched it <laughs> because I just, I absolutely love it. I'm about flopping. Um, oh God. And my muffin tops in these jeans, girls. <laughs> Getting worse. And now I'm in, like, almost in a forced lockdown with my daughter. It's only going to get worse, isn't it? So, so that as well, because it's kind of, everything is very tonally correct and I love it all. And then I've got this coat, which was the coat that you all went mad for on Instagram. And it is a wool, <laughs> it's probably not wool at all, if it was wool it wouldn't have been this price, it's probably acrylic. I don't, I'm polyester, I was going to say I'm crap at bloody um, materials, polyester. <laughs> and this was from the white company, no it wasn't, <laughs> this was from Morrison's, but it is so nice. And it is just perfect when you, it's my shopping list, um, when you try it on, it's just so lovely. And then with my bag, and I love wearing it, with this jumper, this is a white company jumper that I had from a charity shop. But I love those colours together, it's the pale grey and the cream of the coat, and I just think that it looks lovely, and then a beige bag. I'm just going to have to fasten my shoelace, otherwise I'm going to, I'll end up falling off my stool. And then, so this is basically sort of my first outfit, so they're just my trainers, my jeans, this coat, my bag, and it just all feels cosy and nice and I feel quite elegant and quite classy, everything goes. There's no massive amounts of pattern clashing. I do really, really like that. But I and I much prefer wearing this coat over something pale. I think oh, I'm molting so much. Does anybody else lose a lot of hair when they brush? When you brush your hair after you've washed it, honestly, I have a handful like this every time. I mean, granted, I don't wash my hair every day. I probably only wash it once a week, maximum twice. But God, this morning I washed it and I was like. But I think I lose more hair in October time. I always seem to lose more hair October, November, and I don't know why. Answers on a postcard. So that's kind of my first outfit anyway. And just FYI, I was on the White Company website last night, because I do love me a bit of White Company. And there is a teddy bear coat on the White Company website. Now I'm not gonna say <laughs> that the quality is anything like this, or this is anything like that quality. It's a double-breasted teddy bear coat in this colour. And it doesn't look dissimilar. I have to say it doesn't look dissimilar. It's a collar and it's, like I say, it's double-breasted. So it does that, well, double-breasted, I don't really wouldn't thank you for because I don't really think it does many people any favours. And I think sometimes when double-breasted coats hang open, they look a bit strange because they need to be fastened. Whereas a single-breasted coat, I mean, I, I've even contemplated taking that off and sewing the buttonhole up, because I don't think it, it's not doing nothing there, is it? It's not doing nothing. It's not doing anything. And I wouldn't ever do that. So I could even do that. But yeah, Morrison's, it was from Morrison's, have I said that? <laughs> and it was 12 pound, reduced from 20. I'm wearing a size 16. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And this is just gonna be one of those items that will just go on top of all my outfits this winter. I think there's something really lovely about winter white. 
I'm wearing creams and pale greys and whites and I just think it's really elegant and I love it. So what I'm going to do is just try on a couple of outfits and show you how I would style them up. So I'm wearing the next blouse that cost me £2. Now on the front of this blouse, you, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's actually pleated. Can you see when I do that, it's, it is pleated. So this might be one occasion where I don't actually do, what the hell is going on with my belt? Um, where I don't actually do that whole front tuck thing that I normally do, because I normally, I could do, because it doesn't take anything away from the top, I think it's quite nice and it sort of gives it a balloony blousy feel but I don't necessarily mind wearing it like that either. Now I'm currently just wearing it with my jeans and my my four five pound trainers which I love and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to shove on a bit of wasp outside. We have quite a problem with wasps in the last few days. Um, big buggers as well. Um, this is a furry gilet that I've, obviously it's a furry gilet, that I've had from a charity shop years ago and not really worn. But I think because of the grey inside, well on the back, in the background, I love that it's almost at the front exactly the same length and then I've got a little bit of something just pop popping out at the back. So I could wear it like that and then what I want to do is kind of keep it neutral because I don't want to put on a big heavy bag. So on goes my Sue bag and I would wear it just like that. The problem being, so I think that's, I'll tell you about the problem in a minute. I've forgotten what the problem is. <laughs> oh, I've remembered. So that is kind of a, you know, I'm even just running to the supermarket running, meeting your friends for coffee, there's all kinds of ways that you could wear this outfit. You could shove over a coat, but I just think wearing the gilet underneath, or not underneath, over the top, looks nice. And what I was going to say was, the only problem is, it's very sheer material. I've got a little sort of nude vest on underneath, but what you might need if you were, if I was going out and it was properly cold, I'd probably wear something long sleeved underneath it in either a black, I'd say nude, but I don't own anything like that. Does anybody make anything like that? Um, so that's that, which I really like. And then I'm just gonna change it up a bit. So I've got the top on. I popped my Jules jacket on. My Jules jacket is blue, but actually when it's put with this, it almost makes it gray because it's just, like I say, it's tonally right. I've just rolled the sleeves up a little bit and then on with it. I've put my boots, which I absolutely adore. And these are gonna feature very heavily <laughs> because they're so amazing. I'm not saying you have to have a pair of these boots. I'm just saying that, you know, once you've tried them, you won't go back. So that's that. And then I was thinking, what bag could I do? Now, I know it's really sort of pedantic, but when I tried my navy, just my plain blue bag on, let me show you. I like it, but it's just a little bit of nothing. And although it's picking up the blue in the top, it just feels like it's getting lost a little bit. When I tried this one on, this is brown. It's got a brown strap and a brown bottom. This is an old NS bag that I've had from a charity shop. But it just feels like there's a little bit more synergy between the boots and the bag. And I'm not into matching boots and bags. I don't think that has to be a thing. But the bag that I've got that is brown leather is a totally different brown to the boots. It's a very orangey tan. And the boots are almost like a, a well, they're, they're paler, they're much paler. And it just didn't go, it, it was too close. But I think that having the, the blue and the brown almost kind of breaks it up a little bit. But the brown strap, is a nod to the boots without having to kind of match them completely. Now don't forget that I know I'm only wearing a blazer and a very sheer top underneath, but we're going into autumn, we're not going into winter. So I don't feel like I need to be, you know, wrapped up um, in scarves and layers and layers and layers of wool 
because it's not that cold yet. So these are just ideas of outfits that we can use during the time that we've got now, this transitional time. So, um, and then I could always shove on, shove on, I've got a friend called shove on. <laughs> Sorry, shove on, if you're watching. Um, you know, and I might even just do the collar up and do like that. Now, for this outfit, I would probably use the plain bag because it's got something to show up against. Do you see what I mean? Whereas when we were wearing it and it was just like that, you, you just can't even see it. But showing it off against a cream background, cream background, just actually works and makes it look nicer. And so that with my boots, <laughs> it has to happen every video. Um, actually, I really like that as well. And I, like I said, I do prefer wearing this with something paler underneath it, but I'm not averse to wearing it with something darker underneath it because you know, I'm not always going to wear pale things. So um, I'm going to try one of the other tops on now. Okay, while I've got my boots on, I'll do the outfits for that suit the boots. So this is the dress from Warehouse. Now, it's not amazingly flattering. I could do with high waisted jeans probably on with it and it's it's sort of baggy but that is definitely the back because i've looked on, online and then we've got this sit down the front so i don't mind it and i like the shape of it and i like the length of it and when i've got it on with my boots i really quite like it but i thought to myself i am wearing something underneath what would happen if i turned it round now, you know, you'll have to excuse my rolls. Oh my God. But you do know, because I've done this before, how I love to turn things around. And when I looked at the actual style of the dress, it's as kind of funny and baggy at the back as it is at the front. So I really didn't think it would matter if it was one way or the other. I did this yesterday and I didn't have to catch my hair in it. <laughs> But to me, all I need to do is to cut out that label and I'm good to go. And because the bust part at the back was baggy, now I've turned it round. Do you know what? I think this, <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be worn this way. I love the shape of the sleeves. I think with it, with the V, you almost, you're losing the shape of the dress, but actually, by turning the dress around, you get this lovely sort of shape, like draped effect. And I think the pleats at the back are exactly the same as the pleats there. So I really don't think it matters which way around you're wearing it. I love it with my boots. I'll pop on some jewellery. So what I've got is a brown sort of, um, what's it called? Leather <laughs> necklace that I can just shove over and it's sort of goldy there and it goes with my ring which was very very kindly gifted to me by um cat who owns half the ocean i have had loads of jewelry sent to me by cat over the last sort of 18 months i have bought some pieces and i have inherited some pieces and this is just phenomenal and she does it all herself and it's her own business and she's amazing so shout out to cat and I just thought that that was amazing. And then if I wanted to pop it on with my tweed jacket, and then I'd need my brown bag again because I just think it would go better with this outfit with very navy underneath. But I just think that that looks really really nice i really like the length of the dress i would never wear it just as a dress i'm not that brave and i haven't got the legs for it or the anything for it <laughs> but i just think again it's just an easy thing to throw on i could shove it on again with this coat and it actually probably actually probably looks 
better like that with a, with a coat. I like the length of this coat. I like that it's longer than the dress. I would probably pop on my, just my navy bag. If I could find just my navy bag, I would, I would pop it on. Where's my navy bag? I've got the navy of the dress, I've got the navy of the bag. This bag was £5 from a charity shop, it's originally a next bag. Um, so I'm pretty good to go there. And also, because no outfit would be complete without, let's just pull my hair down and Pop on a fedora. So, if I was just having a day about town shopping and the weather was a bit rubbish, then I am absolutely good to go in that outfit. I love it. And again, it's just about wearing things in your wardrobe that, you know, summer dresses, dresses that you've forgotten, turning them around the other way, trying them out with a different coat. Dresses over jeans, always a winner. Doesn't necessarily have to be a pair of skinny jeans, it can be a pair of wider leg jeans. Pop it on with a trainer, with a converse. It doesn't always have to be a pair of knee high boots. Um, my fedora, by the way, was from York in a charity shop last year. And I, I think I paid about five pounds for it, I think. I think it's a men's. It's from originally from a company called Hawkins. But it's like a tweedy. Oh, it's just bloody perfect. Because <laughs> that's when you wear a fedora, that's how you have to talk. <laughs> so, how are we? Are we enjoying this whistle, whistle wind, whistle wind, whirlwind, <laughs> whistle stop tour through these outfits? So, I'm going to throw on that other top now. Okay, so this is the 50p top. So it's like a very, very soft minty green. Now one thing, one sort of discovery that I've made over the last few weeks and months is that wearing clothes like this, that do this, disguise a multitude of sins. And if I was wearing a t-shirt that was this fitted, if it was as fitted there as this is, it would, it would go in there. Whereas this gives me that extra room. Therefore creating the illusion <laughs> that I do not in fact have a muffin top. <laughs> oh my God, what the hell is that? Bear with. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're one of those people who picks up flies and chucks them outside. <laughs> I stomp on with them my size sevens. So, yeah, so I think that actually this is the way I'm going, more kind of silky, satiny, plus I think they look more expensive. So this top is a tie-back thing. Now, when I just tie, if you just tie it, I think that's how it goes and that's how the neck is. I don't really think, I mean, I don't have an opinion to be honest. It's okay, but... You know, so I thought, oh dear God, look at my hair. This is why I wear, wore it in that clip thing for the first half of the video because I knew that I knew that this would happen. <laughs> so what I want to do, that won't stay up. So I'm just going to tuck it, tuck it. Sounds quite posh. I'm going to tuck it down like that, and then just tie around a great bow like that. And then that way, I feel like it's slightly more flattering. Now, it doesn't really do a great deal for me around the back because it's all being pulled because it shouldn't be that tight around. But we can remedy that. So I've got the lighter green of the top and then I've got the, the lushness of the velvet jacket. Now, this jacket I have had for... 18 months I think, it's originally a Laura Ashley, I paid about £12 for it, it's a size 16 and it's quite roomy, it's not roomy there, it's very roomy around my 
shoulders and around the arms and if I sort of stand like that in it I'm not really well it isn't flattering anybody is it so it's one of those that you kind of have to get yourself into <laughs> feel like dal boy and then I <laughs> oh that's like friends <laughs> Chandler and Ross <laughs> So I've actually got, although they're downstairs, I've got some of those old fashioned silver things that go up your arms that keep your sleeves up and I absolutely swear by them. So I really, really, really like that as a look. And I think with the boots, again, I just think it's a really easy way of wearing something that you probably won't wear because it's quite dressy you know it's a pussy is it called a pussycat bow have i made that up pussy doll bow is it a pussy anything bow <laughs> but i really like that sort of coming out of the jacket i think it's really quite elegant but i'm only wearing jeans and i've just thrown on a blazer and it could be any blazer it could be any color top but i think the fact that that's not white and this isn't black the fact that they're both sort of colors from the same family gives again synergy I've said that twice now to the outfit and then you know I've got my brown boots on which chills it down a lot I could wear this with my white trainers absolutely easily <laughs> so again that's just another way of wearing something that's quite pretty and floaty but bringing it into an autumn day without because this is, you know, let's face it, that's a really summery top. Or quite a going out sort of top because your shoulders are all on show. You know, and I've got like 13 bra straps there because I've got three million things on underneath this. So, <laughs> but then again, it just kind of shows you what's possible. And then I've got just a couple more things. So these are the black um, Bowden trousers. So they are just a little bit cropped and they've got like a little slit up the side there. Pockets, they're very stretchy, <laughs> which is good. And we all need stretchy things. And they're a little bit low slung. And then I've got them on with my trainers and I've got, and I think these are just a really sort of good alternative to a pair of jeans. I'm, I am a skinny jean type of girl, but I do like these as a bit of an alternative. And this again, if I was wearing a t-shirt with these, let me show you what I mean. Because that illusion is, is okay, isn't it? it? It's not too bad. You wouldn't think, oh wow, she's packing a good muffin top. But if I do that <laughs> and show you what's underneath, you'll realize that that is hiding a multitude of sins. And again, I just do a little front tuck and then it wishes around the back. And I just think this is really, really nice. And again, it's just a way of wearing a dressier top with a pair of more casual trousers and a pair of trainers and actually making it look okay and quite wearable. So this jacket is the one that I had from the charity shop. I tried this on with everything and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I tried it on with things that were like this short sleeved or no sleeved and I just wasn't feeling it and I just thought I just feel really boring and then I realized that the problem was it needed a sleeve now it doesn't have to be this sleeve any sleeve but instantly that just makes so much difference and I've noticed quite a lot of tops of this length, which is fantastic if you're concerned about muffin tops, no, not muffin tops, bingo wings. <laughs> We're vile about our bodies, aren't we? We're absolutely vile about them. Muffin tops and bingo wings, you know. But that to me, although I like it, I, it just does nothing for me. It's a really, really stupid length, but actually add in a sleeve and it wouldn't matter if that was a straight sleeve, a sleeve down to here, just something coming out of the bottom of this sleeve, just to give a little bit more interest to the outfit. And I actually think that that, <laughs> that that is sort of a really nice outfit. And I would probably, I've got black bags um, and cream bags. I'm just gonna 
for the sake of today, I'm just going to pop on a very neutral bag. I've got, um, because I just think sometimes you don't want the bag to take centre stage. And I just think that's really nice. If I had a white bag or a cream bag, I would use that, but I don't. So I might have to invest in something like that. But again, it's just showing you that you can wear, when we're going into this transitional time, wearing things that you've forgotten about in your wardrobe, playing about with the sleeves, playing about with your jackets, popping on a pair of trousers, even like a pair of suit trousers would look really nice if they've got a funky trainer at the bottom of them, you know. Um, there's, there's just so many things that we can do. And I even think that, bear with, I could wear this with it, again. So this is just another way of wearing that and sort of, you know, I've still got my trainers on, but keeping it, so that's sort of keeping it quite casual because you've got your trainers on with it. And I think that looks really nice. And then ultimately, if the weather was to turn, you could wear that jacket under this, no problem, because it's only little and thin. Um, but there's just something about the whole sort of winter white thing, isn't there? I just absolutely adore it. What have I done with that? Again, and then that is just another way of wearing it in such a casual way that it just looks really nice. There's a pile of books there. They're all for the charity shop. <laughs> I forgot to move them before I did this video. So, um, yeah, again, it's just another way of using one item in your wardrobe to elevate other items in your wardrobe. And sometimes it only means, it only takes one, you only have to buy one thing and it can instantly change an outfit. And I'm now going to pop on my shoes of dreams and, you know, say that we've got a night out and I didn't know about it. I mean, when does that ever happen? I'm just giving you a dream scenario. You know, my husband's rang me and he's like, I'm going to take you out tonight and I'm dressed like this. And I'm like, oh my God. So what I'm going to do, so I've shoved on a load of necklaces that are all greys and golds. And then I've thrown on my little, <laughs> my one pound heels. And I just think that they look lovely. And then, you know, it is getting chilly. So I could just even, I don't think it would because it's not very good. It hasn't got a structured shoulder, so it'll probably fall off. But it's even just throwing that over and, you know, the bag, I'm out of breath. The bag can go through there, that can go over there. And do you know what? I think this year, that is probably as dressy as I'm going to get because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> no one's going anywhere. But I think that... I think if you swooshed into a bar like that, you wouldn't be... I think that actually looks really nice. And I, I'll come over here so you can see it with the shoes. I think it's really, really nice. And these shoes are so comfortable. So comfortable. So, you know, there's that. And again, there's that. If you just don't want the big coat on, but you want to be a little bit more dressy, and you've got all your jewels on, and you've got your shoes on, then there's always that as well. If you're not going to be outside, you're going to go straight from the car to the bar and back again, or the car to, I mean, I would easily go, you know, there's places I would go for coffee dressed like this. So I just think, but these, I am not finishing my sentences, am I? <laughs> I just think it's a really easy look, and I think trousers like this, if you can pick yourself a pair of trousers up, there are a nice alternative to always wearing a pair of jeans. I have got chinos, but they're just not very well fitted to me. And then the last thing I'm going to do is my um, stripy dress, I think. And I just lastly wanted to show you this, sorry, before I get the, the, the dress on. 
Um, so I've still got my shoes on, but I like it with the black trousers as well because you're picking up the black. The only thing I would do is, I've got a nude coloured vest on and you can see, you probably can't pick it up on camera, or you might be able to, where the trousers end and then the top begins. So what I would do is wear a black vest underneath it um, and then I would literally shove on, <laughs> shove on, black <laughs> shove on. <laughs> I'm so Siobhan, um, is shove on, <laughs> I just realised how often I said it, my leather jacket which I had from a charity shop, I've had this for about seven years, it was originally a Zara, it is so beautiful, it's the softest leather and I absolutely love it and but what I would probably do is I just think that is such a cool look for the kind of it's not quite winter but I you know I'm meeting everybody for drinks and well not everybody because obviously only five other people and, and not from without outside of your household or they, they can be but you can't be in your house but you can be in the garden but don't go to the coffee shop with them or who knows <laughs> um I don't think my my silver bag my silver bag's downstairs I think I'd probably put my silver bag on with this but I'll just show you to kind of get the idea. I mean, I might go for this colour because it's just very neutral. I don't think it detracts from the outfit. And then the shoes. You know, I'm wearing a £2 top, a pair of trousers that were about £6, a £1 pair of shoes, a free-to-me bag, three lots of jewellery that were probably one of them. Again, this is half the ocean. My lovely cat, she sent me that, which is like silver bees, absolutely gorgeous. And then I always team it with, I've got those which are pearls and gold, which I love. And then I've got grey pearls, which I love again. Because sometimes I will wear a mixture of silver and gold and I don't want to be all silver or all gold and I will sort of mix and match it. And I think because I've got the grey in the top and I've got the grey pearls, I love that. I've got the gold pearls and I'm blonde so I think gold suits me, I've got my gold ring so I think it all sort of, oh there's a synergy. <laughs> so yeah, so oh my god, I'm so out of time, I'm going to throw the dress on. Hideous, right? <laughs> so this is the dress that I paid £11 for and got it home and tried it on and went, oh god. <laughs> It's horrible. I, I do love, I love it. I love the shape, I love the style. <laughs> Sorry about my hair. What I don't love, do you like my VPL? <laughs> I, I'm not a lover of the length, I think it's too short. I'm not a lover of any of this, really. But, I was like, Okay, we can make that work. So, bearing in mind, got it on my trainers. So, what I thought was, let's pop on a pair of leggings so it becomes slightly less obscene. So, what I've done is I've popped on a pair of leggings. Now, this doesn't work with jeans or it doesn't work with my jeans because my jeans are hipstery jeans. And as you saw before, I get quite the muffin top at the top of my jeans. So, what I needed was the sucking in power of either a pair of good old spanks which i haven't got or a good pair of leggings which these are so because they kind of give me a smoothness well they would if i had the right knickers on i have never yet done a video <laughs> and worn the right knickers but i do think it gives me a bit of a smoother silhouette i've got them on with my boots so i really like that look of wearing it with boots but I would have to wear something over the top and I don't know, or I didn't know, what to wear. So I've tried a couple of things out, bear with. Okay, so the first thing that I've done is I've popped a long sleeve t-shirt on underneath. I've picked up the blue of the dress and the blue of the leggings. This is an old um, white stuff top. So, but there's a reason why I've done it and I shall show you why. Because I wanted to put on something like this, which is basically like a big poncho. Now, if I was to put the poncho on and have no sleeve here, 
and just had that as it was. Let me show you. Well, I'd be freezing, but it just doesn't look very nice, I don't think, and I'm freezing. But because I've got that length of colour there, <laughs> it gives a synergy <laughs> to the whole outfit because I've got the navy of the leggings, the navy of the dress, the, the navy of the top. So it just instantly makes a difference. So if you have got something short sleeved that you think you can't possibly wear something like this over, then think again. Now this just makes me feel so comfortable. I love that you can see the stripes at the bottom. I love that you can see the stripes at the side, but I'm not giving anything away. I'm not showing any lumps or bumps. I have considered, because this is literally a pullover one, I have considered, and actually I bought this with Siobhan <laughs> a long time ago, wasn't it Siobhan? Um, and I've thought about putting a bit of a, a stitch in there, just so that it's a bit more like that, but I don't know, I actually quite like being able to see the material at the side of the dress, and then what I would do I think for this I would probably use my brown bag, sorry, my brown and my blue bag, just to go over the top of that. Let me just have a little look. Yeah, and I think that it's a nice way of wearing, you've got that little bit of stripe at the bottom, you know, if you are a massive Jules fan then you'll, you'll be loving this dress. I've got my boots on, I've got I'm, I'm nice and cosy, but I'm not uncomfortable. I'm not going to feel, oh my God, you know, I feel really fat. Um, and then the only other thing you could probably do, I've got a poncho, a proper poncho. This is from the White Company, but I got it from a charity shop. Um, and this is like a proper I will just turn that inside out, don't you hate that? So this is a proper poncho selector. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, you run my wavelength. And again, that's another way of wearing it. And that might be nice for if I'm going out and I actually want to wear a coat, I could wear this because it won't, make that much difference to the coat but if I wanted if I'm going somewhere where I know I'm going to take my coat off I don't want that exposed not that there's anything wrong with that being exposed and please 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 don't think that I think that shouldn't be on show because it's entirely up to you what you do and what you don't but I wouldn't feel comfortable I know I wouldn't so I'm happier with it covered over and I'm sure everybody else is and then you know what we can do is just pop on that jacket <laughs> again and then it's just that kind of layered little layered moment and it just actually looks like I've got a jumper on and my little skirt and my boots what I'm going to do I'm going to wear my beige bag because it's almost the same colour as the poncho so I'm picking that back up again I mean look yeah, and I think that's a really, really pretty sort of autumnal way of wearing it. And I'm actually in quite a few layers, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to be nice and toasty. And again, I could do my... Could I do that? I could do that. If I so wanted to, I could do that if I was going shooting or something. <laughs> I don't do much shooting. Um... But again, that's just another good way. And then I also bought this from Jewels, the actual Jewels shop. I know, shock horror, but it was in the sale for £4. And I bought this. And I think because the dress has actually got the monkey, I was going to say then, the bunny in the pinky coral. So what I could do is just shove that on and... Oh, I'm just ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready for autumn. This is me. I'm just like, I'm ready. But I tell you something, 
they had these coats in mustard and they had them in black and white. I think were they the only colours and cream. But for £12, my mum reliably informs me that Morrisons do a click and collect. So if they haven't got them in your shop, you can order them and collect them from there for free for free. So that is my romp, romp, romp <laughs> through autumn, autumn staple outfits. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you are not subscribed, then I would love it if you would subscribe. Obviously, as we go into the winter, then I will do more wintry outfits with a bit more sparkle. But I just thought for now that it would just be nice to see some autumn ideas. If you've got any ideas of things that you would like me to do, such outfits for occasions or outfits wearing certain colours or certain styles, if you've got anything like that, just leave me a comment below. And if I can accommodate them, then I will. Um, so that is me all done. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all really soon in my next one. So take lots of care. Love.